Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 44 on my Pokemon Stadium Round 2 playthrough. On the last episode, we got through, uh, got through Round 1 of the Future City Gym and finished Cells on Silly City Gym. Now we're going to go into Round 2, so let's go. Hopefully we won't get a Pokemon mm, spamming Recover because it learned it through Mimic, or something like that. Alright, so you got a water type, a ground type, a bug flying type, a grass poison type, a fighting type, and a normal type. So again, starting off with Starmie, can hit five or six of them super effectively. Then, uh, same with, actually, start off with Dragonite, because it can hit five of them uh, a little easier. Then, Starmie. And as the last option, we'll go for. Um, go for Charizard actually. So, Dragonite, Starmie, and Charizard. Here's the second adversary. The challenger needs to stay calm to earn victory. Alright. Now, unless that's a poison type move, that's going to be resisted four times. Uh, Grass moves will be resisted four times, so. Razor Leaf, yeah, that's even with a crit, that's still not gonna do much. At least it went for acid, it would do neutral damage. So I'm guessing it doesn't have it. Um, right, going for Thunderbolt, just gonna, just gonna KO it. See what it has first. What's that? Oh, it's frozen salt. Oh, you like that? <laughs> it's frozen rock salt. I, mean, I think you can get. No I don't can't get ice beam, but I think you can get rock slide. Uh, might have gone for that. I don't think it went for a fighting type move. What's Looks so sad. I suppose I wouldn't blame him. Or blame it. Fireblast should be enough. Actually, it didn't matter what I went for, they did the same damage. So, I don't know if it's going to get KO'd, but. We'll see. What now? Uh, yeah, okay. Did a great job. Which Pokemon so, uh, is coming out? I'll say Starmie. I think it's just a little. Well, actually, I'm, I think it is faster than Charizard. And I, I don't remember. I I fought one against in the Master Ball, Prime Up Master Ball. But I forgot this, at this point how fast it was. At least, it, either way, it'll outspeed. Uh, 
That's the insight there, that's for sure. I'll have to I'll double check that next time. I know I know Charizard's as fast as Gengar. I don't know if Gengar or Charizard outspeed Starmie. I don't I don't think so, but anyway. So I'll move on to round three then. Alright, so let's see. 305. Two, okay, yes, yeah, Starmie does outspeed them. Alright, anyway, so we've got a rock water type, uh, two poison types, a ditto, a nice psychic type, and a water poison type. So, um, once again, starting off with Starmie. Then, uh, I guess, let's see here. Then Dragonite, because I know Kabutops doesn't. I don't think Kabutops runs Ice Beam. And um, and I guess aside from that, could go with uh, go with Gengar. So Starmie, Dragonite, and Gengar. About to start. That was psychic. Vigorous attack. That is that is down. All right, so we'll go down next turn then. Oh, toxic! It opted to slowly damage the opponent. What a furious battle! The Pokemon returns to its okay. Pokeball. Oh, it's yeah, figures. What'll it do? That's that. Well, that's that. convenient. Oh, man, definitely helpful now. Uh, I don't have anything to. Don't have anything to switch that into, really. So, just stick around with, with Surf. I don't want to switch anything into a Blizzard or a Psychic in this case. Not in case of Gengar. So things are back to normal then. I know Tentacruel doesn't get, use Ice Beam, I'm going to switch out to Dragonite. Also, I can reset the special drop on Starmie. Okay, then. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Are you serious? What this? A minor hit. <laughs> wow. Even now they're still trying that. Alright then. Well, since they can't use rap on Gengar, switching to Gengar. I'll get a free switch, so. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Gengar! How will the swap Pokemon right, so, fight? I think Psychic is more powerful than Thunderbolt. So let's use that. What'll it do? Super effective! Super Sonic! Huh? It's confused! Right. What a furious battle! Should be able to get one more Psychic off though. Alright. 
That's not going to be very effective, though. What's that? It didn't do much damage. Fireworks are flying in this battle. All right, there we go. Wow, that's an effective hit. And it's down. Right. So the last one is then. The number of reserve Pokemon. Ditto. Okay. All right. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'd rather it switch to, I'd rather be become Dragonite as usual. So I'll do that. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Wow! It transforms. And then I'll just go for Blizzard against it. No, it is Blizzard. Smack the weak spot. Wow! Take it down with one hit. And there we go. Alright, let's just go face Koga now. <sighs> Alright, so we've got two, a bug poison type, two poison types, a psych type, a grass type, and a bug grass type. So, uh, let's see here. Hmm. So the best option would actually be uh, to go for Charizard. So we can get five of them. Then uh, let's see. Uh, then next would be uh, Gengar, and then another person to re someone actually resist a Pokemon can resist Psychic. So Alakazam then. So Charizard, Gengar, and Alakazam. Can the challenger do anything about the effects of poison? Let's see. I'll, I'll stay in. Oh, actually outspeeds it. That's surprising. The first the weak spot. That's right. I remember uh, Hypno is a little what bit bulkier defense than some of the other psychic types. Free, somewhat of a free, uh, easier switch out to Alakazam then. The so Charizard for later. Oh, it's Alakazam! What'll it do? It's not very effective. Will this Pokemon right. block change so the it's two, of I'll do over three seismic dodges at this point. But, either way. What the? A decent hit! Neither one okay, I didn't realize counter actually worked on so the toss it's set damage, so Alright then I'll try for psychic. Let's see if it goes for counter again. And did it nope. So can it survive a psychic? Only because the even I'm not sure if it would have survived if it, there wasn't a critical hit. It might have been low enough. Either way, I know that Charizard can just, now can just go for uh, an Earthquake. Also, I could I actually... Now that I think about it, I actually should have gone for Recover with uh, Alexam. Is it down and out? That's the only psychic type on the team, so uh, that'd be fine. A little bit easier, a little bit easier now. Oh, it's not. Oh. The 
Pokémon are entirely different types. Ah! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokémon choice. Sludge, all right. What's this? Nail the weak spot. Oh, oh it's down! There's only one Pokémon left in reserve. Yeah, there's a bunch of grass types and poison types left. Oh, so Gengar. Gengar has a bit of an advantage now. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth battle continues. There it goes! Super effective! Okay. It's made it known or evasive. Oh great. What a furious battle! Let's try Nightshakes. I think that ignores accuracy, actually. Nightshakes! That's a good hit! Wow! I don't know. I think that might just be Sw I think Swift's the only one that ignores accuracy in this game. In this generation. Either way, though. Oh, it's Venomous! Alright, this is good, then. There's just one Pokemon I... aside! <sighs> I'm not sure if Venomoth can get Psychic 2. I know, Ve I know Butterfree can, but I'm not sure if Venomoth can. Guess I'll find out. Or not. <laughs> I won't find out then. I'd rather win than find out what it has Psychic. Alright, there we go. And now, open up Saffron City Gym. So I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, we'll, we'll enter Saffron City Gym. Alright, catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.